What are the limitations of benchmarking, you may ask? A question that is not only relevant for businesses and organizations, but also for Certified Internal Auditor Part 2 candidates. To start, number one, incomparable metrics. This is when different organizations use varying metrics or definitions, making direct comparisons difficult. Imagine two companies calculating efficiency ratios differently, which could lead to misleading benchmark results. Next, number two, industry-specific variations. Benchmarking across different industries can be problematic due to unique risks, regulatory environments, and operational processes. Think about a retail business and a manufacturing firm. They have vastly different operational models. Moving on to number three, quality of data. The accuracy of benchmarking is heavily reliant on the quality and reliability of the data used. If the data is inaccurate or outdated, it can lead to erroneous conclusions and strategies. Then there's number four, overemphasis on competitors. An excessive focus on competitors can cause auditors to overlook internal innovations and strengths. It may also result in a lack of differentiation in the market. At number five, we have cost and time constraints. Comprehensive benchmarking can be resource intensive, requiring significant time and financial investment, which might not always be feasible for every organization. Coming in at number six, confidentiality issues. Sharing sensitive data for benchmarking purposes can pose risks regarding confidentiality and competitive advantage. Number seven is adapting to change. Benchmarking is often a snapshot in time. In rapidly changing industries, by the time the benchmarking process is complete, the data might already be outdated. Number eight is a tricky one. Copying versus learning. There's a risk of merely copying what competitors are doing instead of understanding and adapting their strategies to fit your unique context. At number nine, we find cultural differences. For global organizations, cultural differences can impact the effectiveness of applying benchmarking results universally. Finally, number 10, compliance and ethical concerns. There may be legal and ethical considerations, especially if benchmarking leads to practices that are questionable in terms of compliance or corporate ethics. So, for Certified Internal Auditor, Part 2 candidates, understanding these limitations is crucial. It ensures a balanced approach to benchmarking, recognizing its value as a tool for improvement, while being aware of the potential pitfalls and challenges. Understanding these limitations of benchmarking allows you to use this tool effectively and responsibly.